Hello everyone, this is fine from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. NVIDIA RTX 5090 will be a technology revolution. NVIDIA has announced that the highly anticipated RTX 50 series GPUs based on the innovative Blackwell architecture will be released in 2024. These GPUs have the potential to be the first mainstream multi-chip module MCM based GPUs from the company and could bring about the biggest performance leap in NVIDIA's history. According to reports, the RTX 50 series will feature a new streaming multiprocessor design as well as a ray tracing denoising accelerator for enhanced performance. The GPUs will also utilize a hyperspeed bus to connect the SM and chiplets and will be manufactured on TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer process. It is expected that there will be several RTX 50 series GPUs available and the final selection will depend on the performance of AMD's current and future RDN offerings. The NVIDIA Blackwell architecture is named after the late American statistician and mathematician David Blackwell. Blackwell made significant contributions to fields such as game theory in addition to his research in probability theory. He has also a pioneer in information theory and statistics and the first African-American ever induced, inducted into the prestigious National Academy of Sciences in keeping with its tradition of naming its major architectures after prominent computer scientists and mathematicians. NVIDIA's decision to honor Blackwell with the Blackwell architecture serves as a tribute to his impact on the field. The RTX 50 series will be a major improvement from Hooper the pioneering GPU featuring HBM3 and the quickest 4 nanometer GPU available when debuted, it boasted higher specifications than even the NVIDIA RTX 4090 with a total of 18,432 CUDA cores. Four RTX 50 series GPUs have already been confirmed in a prior leak, indicating that NVIDIA is pulling out all the stops for this groundbreaking release. The NVIDIA RTX 50 series Blackwell GPUs are sure to be a game changer in the world of GPU technology with their advanced design and impressive performance capabilities. These GPUs are expected to be in high demand once they are released. If you thought your RTX 4090 was quick today, well, it looks like it's gonna be obsolete and not too long because yes, we are already hearing rumors about the RTX 50 series and if these rumors are going to be correct well, then it looks like the 50 series could be an even bigger jump than the 40 series was over the 30 series and 4090 is absolutely insane. I mean, keep in mind that the 4090 when you compare it to the 3090 is close to 80% faster. I know most people like to compare it to the 3090 Ti. However, the 3090 Ti is the full die and 4090 is not there is still more room left in the tank for uh, 4090 Ti, which I'm hearing could be uh, launching in not too long and hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Because if the 50 series comes in a pretty decent amount of time, well, then yeah, uh, that uh, 4090 Ti could be redundant very, very quickly. But what is going on with the 50 series? Are they gonna be here tomorrow and smashing in the face of the 4090? Well, in order to figure that out, let's go ahead. We are gonna do right now, and speaking of, if we look at this slide that I got from WCC uh, FTEC, we can see that it's titled RTX 50 slash Blackwell NVIDIA's high end schools are likely to be chiplet. They feel the need for it to compete with AMD from Marmars. I have heard NVIDIA is very determined to keep its lead over AMD. One source told me that if RDNA 3 had been faster, we might have seen a GS202 based product release for gaming, a kind of emergency. Number of Blackwell evolution schools, including a frankly massive MCM monstrosity, Blackwell leverages entirely new SM architecture structure, hyperspeed bus, interlinks the various smash chiplets and denoising accelerator part of the RT pipeline. But this will be extremely important for both RT and path tracing perform, uh, performance. And then here's the big one. Apparently, it's going to be the biggest performance leap in NVIDIA history. And that is definitely news to me because I was uh, under the impression that MCM GPUs would be pushed off another generation. However, if what Red Gaming Tech is saying turns out to be true and they feel the need to bring MCM with the 50 series, then yes, it definitely could be one of the biggest leaps of all time. And he's saying it will be the biggest leap. And then again, and that means uh, 
and again that means they are gonna have to exceed 80 per, uh, percent performance versus the 4090 class gpu because the 40 series was one of the biggest leaps of all time in the 4090s close to 80 percent faster than the 3090 we are gonna have to be talking about 90 or 100 percent faster on gpu in one generation i'm absolutely losing my mind and amd is definitely gonna be in for some trouble if they don't bring some serious improvement with rdna4 as well i'll be doing on the 7900xt to determine can overclocking save it but let's continue talking about the 50 series because that's the information we got right now and yeah are they going to able to exceed 80 percent performance well the only way they would be able to do that is if we take a look at this chart that i put together based on all the various different leaks and rumors that i'm hearing about the 50 series this is probably the only way they could put it off now they could do a little bit different on the sm counts or they could do a little bit higher or a little bit lower clock speeds but i do think that this is going to be pretty close to what you are going to end up seeing now you will notice that in the chart i'm showing you right now you see the rtx 4090 which has 128 sm count and 16384 cuda cores whereas the rtx 5090 uh, blackwell bd102 uh, sm count 208 and 24576 cuda cores the rtx 4090 2.52 gigahertz whereas rtx 5090 is 2.9 gigahertz the improvement on memory is 24 gb g66 used on for rtx 4090 rtx 5090 using 24 gigabyte g7 memory and the memory speed is very good 21 gigabyte per second on rtx 4090 and rtx 5090 32 gigabyte per second the rtx 4090 which uh, actually 16384 cuda cores whereas rtx 4090 ti will be 18,432 CUDA cores and it boosts clocks 2.6 gigahertz. And if you see the RTX 5090, it will be 24,576 CUDA cores and boost clock is 2.9 gigahertz. And it will use 24 gigabyte G7 memory. But the memory speed is very high. RTX 4090, 21 gigabyte per second, whether RTX 5090, 32 gigabyte per second. Both bus speed are same 384 bit bus speed. But RTX 4090, 1008 gigabyte per second bandwidth, 4090 Ti, 1152 gigabyte per second, and RTX 5090, 1536 gigabyte per second. That's massive bandwidth. And the cache is 208 megabyte on RTX 5090, which is massive. On calculation, RTX 50, uh, 5090 is actually uh, 1.87 times powerful than RTX 4090. And if you see the RTX 5090 Ti, it will be 232 sm count and its cuda core is massive 29696 cuda cores and boost clock is above 3 gigahertz 3.2 gigahertz and it's massive 48 gigabyte g7 memory and memory speed 36 gigabyte per second that means 15 gigabyte per second more memory speed than rtx 4090 and 12 gigabyte per second than rtx 4090 ti and its bandwidth is 1728 gigabyte per second which is massive and cache 232 megabyte and the power is 550 watt so rts 5090 ti will be a monstrous gpu no doubt now they could end up naming this like the 5080 ti or something like that or they could bring a titan back i don't know really know uh, for sure at this point what the exact naming is however based on the bd102 drive it is going to be based of the blackwell architecture and that doesn't end up being some sort of data center gpu which is also a possibility but if that does end up being the design that they use for their gaming gpus and they go for a mcm design well in theory they could have on the 5090 up to 208 sms up to uh, 24576 cuda cores a boost clock of around 2.9 gigahertz 24 gigabyte per second of g7 memory running at 32 gigabytes per second on a 384 bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 1536 gigabytes per second so that is a lot of memory bandwidth so in theory the rtx 4090 that would put them uh 1.9 times the performance gain over rtx uh 
So if it did scale well, that would be enough to actually be a bigger leap. However, this is just doing teraflops versus teraflops. And unless there's some serious IPC improvements in there, it is unlikely that this will be enough to actually be the biggest leap in NVIDIA's history. So they are going to be have to make something even bigger. And that's where we are going to move on to the 1590Ti, or at least that's what I'm going to be calling it and taking a look at the chart. Yes, it is the biggest leap in their history, I will say, guys. I would expect probably at least 40 to 50% performance improvement on the RTX 50 series. However, like I mentioned, if AMD really brings the heat, you could see an MCM design like this, like Red Gaming Tech is talking about. And yes, it could be another doubling in terms of performance. So again, expect at least 40, but it could be as much as two times the amount of performance depending on what nvidia feels like they have to bring and if they are able to do that nvidia can really double their performance yet again let me know your guys thought in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update thanks for watching